Well, good morning everybody from the Florida RV Super Show 2018. It is unseasonably cold in Florida this morning, but uh, you asked uh, for some super seas. So let's check out some super seas. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Renegades. It's a freight liner. Okay, let's begin with this one. This is the Verona 40 BV VBH. Here we have the, the cockpit. It's a freight liner uh, chassis. Good morning. Good morning. And a nice uh, sofa. A nice uh, bed. Lots, lots of, of surface here in the kitchen counter. Very nice. sink, residential refrigerator, of course, hello there, and here we have two bunk beds, and the, the, the main bedroom here in the back, yeah, this is, this is very, very much residential, like a condominium, his and hers uh, hanging closets, of course, and very nice build quality, at least it feels that way, very large mirror here in the in the bedroom, little nightstand. And I presume this is probably, yes, as I presume this is washer and dryer back here on this unit. What do we have here? This is a pocket door. If you want some privacy, privacy in the bedroom from the kids out there. Let's check out the bathroom. Beautiful bathroom here. And this is a, a ceramic toilet. All these very, very nice uh, surfaces. And uh, let's see how this works. Oh, it's a, it's a sliding door as well. And, ooh, oh yeah, this is huge. This is bigger than the shower that I have at home. I look at the clearance, some 510 and it's wood. And overall it feels like very high quality materials. Of course the TV is in the right place, in front of the sofa, where it should be. Here. Yeah, these are pretty deep. Very nice. Let's look at the... And this would be MSRP 291, loaded as it is, very nice. Super deep drawers, and very, they feel great, they feel like quality construction. Let's see down here, we have more storage. That's your water heater down there. Huh. Yeah, these cupboards up here are super deep as well. well let's check out the outside. Oh, here are your, all your controls and more storage back here and back here. The DVD player. Very cool. This is, of course, the Verona F40 VBH. And of course, we, oh, we have all this uh, basement storage. Let me see if they're open. Yeah, oh, I fit in there. This is uh, what probably like two feet deep, and uh, 
four feet uh, wide and uh, and this here under the slide more it's, this one, this one feels even bigger it's probably the same okay that was the the first now let's go check out this other floor plan here this is the Verona 38 38rw it has two slides one in the bedroom one in the living room let's see what this looks like same chassis as the previous one it's a freight liner and the good thing about here being here at the RV show early is that there's not a whole lot of people. This one has a little less counter space, but still plenty, plenty of room to to prep your food. Decent, uh, decent sized uh, sink. Of course, this um, this doesn't have an oven, but it does have a convection oven up here. <clears throat> let's see, let's see the storage up here. You have again a TV with a sound bar where it should be in front of the couch. It would be better if it was a little bit more to the right, but it's fine. Oh, you have a sleeping area here in the front, another another bedroom, if you will. So this one, instead of the of the bunk beds, has that. Uh, let's see. This is a residential fridge, of course. And uh, this one right here, we get a rare look at the unit with the slide in. I imagine they didn't have enough room to put the slide out. But this is the bedroom. And as you can see, it's still usable with the sliding. You just don't have access to these drawers down here. And there's a, a back there a closet, huge closet, TV. And uh, those are, as I presume, are probably washer and dryer. same huge shower area but this one is not a sliding door this one is a regular and I always have a hard time opening this I don't know why but it's jammed but you get the point this is also a ceramic toilet not the, the cheap plastic one so these units are for for what they cost you know this is Valencia by Renegade it's, it's quite beautiful actually the decor this one has less uh, I'm gonna check, but I, I, I'm, I'm sure this one is shorter than the previous one, but this is very, very nice. Let's see. 38W. Okay, let me, let me actually, let, let, let me see, let me look at the spec check, spec uh, cheat. And uh, this one with retail MSRP two hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars and change so that was that yes you can see that slide is in so yeah definitely this one is shorter than the previous one now let's look at this uh, white uh, monstrosity here this is being white makes it look even bigger and here we are Morning. We have a bedroom here and a bathroom in the back. Oh, this is beautiful, beautiful uh, craftsmanship here with these wardrobes and the drawers. Today, of course, I'm showing you the other end of the spectrum. You know, these super seas are super luxurious and uh, super expensive too. Here we have is uh, electric toilet and this okay now look at this shower this is bigger than what I have at home I think and of course these units are these units are very long this is like a 45 footer or so I'll find out beautiful bedroom of course you have a bathroom back there and you also have a bathroom here in the front this is like a half bath you know, for for your guests. Well, we can have both beds out. This is a good 
medicine cabinet. And I'm going to get out of here because The only other thing you can... You well, this one has... No, it's okay, it's okay. okay. I just wanted to, to see the induction cooked up. That's it. So the... Uh, yeah, if you lost your half bath... Yeah. In other words, you look... Yeah. Well, and that's true. Because we designed have another bed on top. so it's functional in, in transit. Mm -hmm. So as you saw when we ran the rooms in yesterday. Mm -hmm. So you still have the half, the half bath you can use during the day. This is very cool. Let's check out, the, yeah, that's the white one, that's where we were. But, you know, they're, they're negotiating a price inside, so they're negotiating a price inside, so I didn't want to intrude too much. Uh, this one is, uh, in fact, I didn't even get the model number. Uh, this is uh, an XL 2018 Super C Diesel 45QB. And let's see. Keyless entry, of course. And here we go. This is your cockpit here, very, very nice, very truck like, a lot of, you know. And uh, oh, check it out, the transmission is by button, trailer brake, you know. I don't know much about that to be honest about it but yeah we, here we are if we are sitting at the couch uh, the tv is right in front of us we have two couches two sofas and here we have a dining area this is very very residential here let me let me look, look at these drawers but oh wow how cool is that you can have all your remotes in there induction okay so you have some and all this everything is like looks very well built like the wood construction doesn't doesn't feel like you know cheap particle board at any point more stories down there and here okay this is my type of sink i like this deep sinks where you when you can you know you can use it with your with your big saucepans and stuff Residential Samsung refrigerator. Here I am. It's a nice mirror. And everything, everything is like very pretty. This is a there you go pantry. You can put a lot of stuff in there if you want to be, you know, boondocking for a long time. You can have a lot of. Uh, here's your control panel. It has heated seats. Oh. This is a whole different world here. A power control center by Progressive Dynamics. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some um, some more information online for you guys. Uh, okay, here you have you have the multiplex lighting, so you can turn off these lights, and they're they're dimmable, of course. This is your your bathroom here. Nice toilet. And a sh very large uh, shower. I'm not. I'm not even gonna get in in there because, you know, it's big. And here on the other side, we have his and hers um, faucets uh, here. And of course, I'm sure there is a pocket door here somewhere that you can unlock somewhere and then <laughs> and then close it for some privacy back here. And here we have the bedroom, which is quite nice. I have a here hanging closet, of course, for all your, your wardrobe, washer and dryer, of course. Yes, and here you can put your phone and stuff like that, or your Kindle. Yeah, this is uh, this is like a like a small apartment, really on wheels let's continue right. let's take a look at this one here this is a 40 LTS a 40 it's a little shorter than the one we were in before three slides one in the bathroom and, and two two slides in the in the living area 
And as soon as we walk in, there's the residential refrigerator. Very nice. And here we have the living room. Of course, with the two slides, it feels huge. It's like, it's, it feels like an apartment. Very, very nice. Uh, the way it's laid out here in the living room, you can be watching television here. You can have company, you can entertain. We have your, your little table here, which actually, if you are a, a digital nomad, you, you could probably work on the road on a table like this. And of course, that probably folds uh, that way. And, and all in all, very nice materials. Let me see what this is. Are these drawers? No, this is just a... Uh, and that's the, your DVD player and some uh, junction box back there. Look, very nice drawers. They don't seem to lock in place, but I guess they do. Yeah, they do. And this looks to be like... A, oh no, this is not a sink. This is an induction cooked up here. And we have a convection microwave. A lot of these units are are, are foregoing the. Yeah, we see we saw this sink before. A lot of these units are replacing the regular propane stove for a, an induction cooktop. Seems to be a. Of course, you have the multiplex wiring, and this is uh, your awning controls, washer and dryer, of course. And here you have a sink. And the bathroom and this is a uh, an electric flushing system I suppose you know mine I have to have a pedal on the bottom <laughs> I hear the nice bedroom hello with the TV and a window and uh, I mean I'm not opening every single drawer but as you can see it's a lot of storage in here this one doesn't have the, the huge uh, wardrobe in the back but it has a decent sized one for sure a lot bigger than what I have yeah this is these are very nice and this one has a, this one doesn't have a sleeping area in the front but you have well I thought this was um, storage but it's not it's uh it's really your control center uh, with your you know and, uh, and your tanks where you can tell whether your tanks are full or empty and here's storage and here's a power plug so maybe you could put some like a satellite receiver or something in here I don't know and here you have more stuff that looks like an inverter maybe okay here we go this is another Verona 36 VSB this is seems to be shorter than the rest let's just take a quick look around here we have an outdoor outside entertainment system washer and dryer bathroom this bathroom is very similar to the one we, we just saw same with the bedroom I think TV they're all very well laid out Uh, it's it's louder than a pusher, obviously. Yeah. Um, the first couple gears Very are, deep. Are, are louder. Um, highway crews, it's it's not all that noticeable. Well, that's pretty much all the all the diesel pushers, I think. But since we're here, let's check out some of these B plus uh, vans. Morning, and this is the Vienna by Renegade 25 UCB which makes me think it's probably 25 or 26 uh, feet long and I'm, I'm pretty sure we were in this one yesterday but this is the floor plan that I like personally and um, oh yeah I love I love this uh, dip the sinks and uh, pardon the camera movement but this is a, a two-hander operation here and then it's a corner bed unit of course which i don't mind a lot of people don't like them but i don't mind the corner corner bed unit here we have a nice fridge probably three way because this is a propane two burner stove 
Uh, it is probably a three-way, but I don't see a way to to change to change it from propane to to electric. Also, it's maybe it's all it's all automatic. Like you don't have to do anything, or it could be compressor based. Actually, you can tell usually. Now this this looks like a, like a absorption type. More research, more research. I'll go into this. We have our corner, but oh man, this is hard. <laughs> This is like a very hard memory foam. I like the faucets. I like the design. Of course, this is a ceramic toilet, and you can be looking outside while while you do your business here. And then, yeah, this is very, very, very. Uh, yeah, there's enough room here. Uh, actually, for two people, <laughs> which is pretty cool for a for a rather small B plus. Yeah, this, this unit right here, this is something I could get into, really. And it's very, very well built. The wood finish feels, actually, this one doesn't feel all that solid, but for the most part, it does feel. Oh, look at this pantry. I'm sure this pulls out, but I don't want to break it, so. These drawers are probably super deep. Oh yeah, look at that. You can put a lot of stuff in there. I do not see a wardrobe though. Like to hang your clothes. Oh, this is it. Uh, well. And uh, this dinette could be modified also to, which is our main purpose this year here at the RV show. You know, we could change our minds every year. This this year, what we want is something that we would could work from the road full time. You know, I spend a lot of hours editing videos. My wife spends a lot of hours doing her job too. So um, we would need something comfortable and as well a place to eat. This is of course on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. So this is nice. This only has this only has one slide on the living room area, which is fine. And as you can see, it's probably very usable with the slide in. You just, you just have a little less room in here. So very cool. Now this one has, uh, coming up, this is the 25 QRS. It has a slide in the living room and a slide going towards the back. In the bedroom area, this has a small uh, sofa here. This is pretty deep. You can put a lot of stuff in, in there. Probably plates. This one has a little less uh, area here. A lot of room inside this curved. For example. Yeah, this feels a lot narrower for something that it has more slides. But then you have the walk around bed here in the back. Although it's not really walk around, if you know what I mean. It feels like a walk around bed, but it doesn't. This one is actually quite uh, short, probably. Well, let's take a look at the next one, which is, uh, I don't see, I don't see a specs sheet, but, okay, this one has uh, the slide going into the side there and the, in the back. It feels very, very spacious inside. Same deal with the kitchen, same with fridge, and, um, here we have this sink on this side and then the the bathroom yeah it is it is a ceramic toilet that's a lot of storage here look at that very nice to be honest about it i think my favorite is the the 25 UCB and let's see what we have down here this uh, back here is a it's probably a large storage yeah it's pretty big you can put a grill back here a lot of stuff and here well that's our our generator this back here is a little bit of storage down there. 
but this is uh, another candidate. I have to see uh, the, the overall length. But this is very, very nice. Yeah, the kitchen is the same. But for having only one slide, it feels roomier than the other ones uh, I was in. And, and it does have a privacy curtain, just in case you get into a fight with your wife. You can be there by yourself. Okay, this was a Renegade RVs. We saw the, the Super Cs and some of these uh, B pluses. And then now we continue. I'm just walking around right now trying to warm up with this coffee. Well, we started talking about Super Cs and I got derailed. So let's continue looking at some Super Cs. And here we have Nexus. And check this guy out. I don't know much about diesel engines, but that looks impressive. And here we have a Super C. And I'm sure the information is inside. Let's check it out. That's my chair right there, right here by the front. And here we have the cockpit. It is an international uh, chassis here. We have a nice sofa here. Quite ample uh, dinette, which uh, of course, yeah, it's pretty sturdy. Hey, everybody. And, um, well, there's not a whole lot of uh, surface area here, but you have a counter extension, which is great. The sink, let me, I don't want to move all the, you know, literature is, it's on the shallow uh, side, but it's not bad. And here we have a Suburban three burner stove. These are pretty nice. And, um, convection microwave I and mean, here we have a regular you know uh, absorption type a refrigerator three-way likely I don't see the, the controls maybe oh either up here so very similar to what I have is a domestic very similar to what I have in my own RV deep pantry I would love it if they if uh, yeah very very deep stuff to the lost back there and adjustable shelves so that's very nice too and uh, back here the bedroom here we have a uh, a very nice shower, very tall. A very, uh, seven foot person probably fitting here. And 5'10, and I'm like, oh, there's like an extra foot up there. Yeah, this is, this is quite spacious. And uh, back here we have the toilet and the sink. This is a small sink, but you know, it is an RV. We have a vent on the roof. I would replace that for a fantastic vent. First thing. And here in the, the bedroom, this is a slide out. And we have a TV, so you can watch TV. We have a his and hers a wardrobes, a lot of drawers. And they are pretty nice, probably unusable when you put the, the slide in, so keep that in mind. And uh, let's see, this is a... This is, a, here's the VIN number, it's a 32W. It's a 32.5 uh, double slide, and after all is said and done, MSRP is 195, 135. They probably have a really good deal here for the RV show, but <clears throat> I'm not sure. So this is another Super C for those of you who wanted to see a Super C. Here's uh, the TV. It's not in the greatest uh, position in the world. I don't really care because I don't watch TV anymore, but I, I'm sure this swivels to the front I don't want to break it so you can watch it from <clears throat> here or there but you're gonna to have to crane your neck to the left keep that in mind let's continue okay here we go there's a couple more super C's back here so let's check them out let's go this way first this is another Nexus here on the international chassis this one has a price outside it's a uh, MSRP 197506 and show price 148. We have an outdoor entertainment system. By the way, and the other one I forgot to show you, but there's a lot of storage. That's a good thing about the Super Seas. There's a lot of storage down there. And this is a similar floor plan. It looks, we have uh, this chair here. 
Uh, as a, uh, it's, it's slightly different, I think, but it's very similar to the one we just saw. And this one is, uh, it feels longer, so it's, it's, it is longer. You have a second sofa here that turns into a bed, and this, I bet you, two bottles of scotch it turns into a bunk. Oh, yeah. There you go, you got bunk beds and a sofa. Another living area back here, if you will. This is a slide out, of course. And here's the bedroom, which is okay. The wardrobe. This whole thing is a is a slide back here. So if when the slide comes in, those drawers become probably unusable, which is fine. A little TV here for the kids. Another TV there for you. And here's uh, the bathroom. That's this. bad it's, it's very tall I, I i certainly fit in there for sure we have it and this uh ceramic toilet very nice this is cool let me see if you have a sheet here with the specs this one is uh, very similar to the one we just saw it's just longer this one is um doo -doo -doo. let me see here it's a 35 w it's a 36 uh, point uh, th 36 feet one uh, inch and uh, yeah very similar price to the other one this, uh, this is cool that's what it looks like on the outside if you like to drive a big truck little cameras if you like to drive a big truck this is probably the one for you let me see this one ghost and this is another huge uh, storage here in the back by the way this one has the entertainment system more towards the back look at that storage space you can, you can fit a couple of kids in there this is a the ghost by nexus this is also an, an international chassis this one is a little more expensive, MSRP 247, and today, only today, 185, 425, here at the RV show. And let me show you inside. This is more like a house. You have a sleeping area there on the top, like a class C. Well, this is this is technically a super C, of course. And uh, yeah, very nice. This one has the dinette on this side, and then a sofa on this side. And the TV is here, which is not a bad position. And it swivels, of course. And then you have a, huh, a mirror on top of this bed. Hmm. Interesting. Here we have this. Oof, this is a very large domestic the medic refrigerator and it is absorption I've, i haven't seen an absorption refrigerator this big in a while but yeah you have yeah this is absorption this is not compressor very cool this is easy it works on lp or electricity the storage up there that's very high well here you have the the shower which is right here by the by the bedroom. Very very tall. This, this this whole RV is very very tall. And here we go. A nice uh, faucet and the sink and the china toilet. And here we have the bedroom. Let me check out. This, check this out. This is okay. This is the emergency exit, which is not a window. It's just uh, an exit, I guess. Whoa! This is very slippery. You have a huge window back there. His and hers uh, wardrobe closet. Let's see if we have some specs here somewhere. I don't see. I don't see a spec sheet. But this this gotta be like forty foot long. Let me see outside. Let's check this out. The Ghost by Nexus, and this is a 34 DS. I'll look it up online. 
Very nice. Now, this one looks to be even. But this is a diesel pusher, 360 horsepower. A Bentley. If you have enjoyed traveling with us, and make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.